Uh, Sage Vanderspin. Hello, boss. But no, no, no. I'm just gonna get to the point. You are fired. What? Your performance today was inexcusable. That that was probably your worst performance on the track. Well, that's obviously because there was a big crash. That chick started. Nope, nope. No excuses. The racers here at Gaskets need to know that priority number one is to be first. I'm, no one's ever been able to pass the queen, chick, or the king, but you can, but not anymore. Say hello to your new replacement. Hello. Rex Reveler. Now, I know it's kind of bad seeing your... Wait. No. I'm not mad at that. You had the one opportunity to fix our, like, style and, you know, this goofy design of gaskets, and you didn't do it. What? 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 I mean, I'm fine with getting fired and all. I mean, I, I kind of expected it, honestly. I mean, came in last twice, but... And, uh, what? Uh, nothing, 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 no. I, I didn't say anything. But what I'm saying is... Rex, come over here for a minute. Okay. Our designs are literally a copy and paste from each other. Uh, n what? Uh, no, what? Me? You know exactly what you're doing. You're trying to save money? Come on. Uh, no, 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 you got it all, no, you got it all wrong, you know what, you don't fire me, I quit. <laughs> all over a paint job? Come on. I mean, look at this guy, right, he's trying to quit for a paint job. Technically, you were gonna fire him anyways. No, I was gonna, <sighs> never mind, I guess you're the new gaskets racer now. Let's see ya. Wait, I wasn't gonna be a gaskets racer before? Huh, I'm feeling kind of a weird sense of deja vu right now. Me too, kid, me too. Hey, uh, listen, I, I know you've been w working for a gasket for a while, you've been racing, and you've done well in your races. Oh, yeah, I know, I know. I've been doing good, but, I mean, those next gens, I mean, they're really, really fast. You have to admit that, I mean, obviously I can compete with them, but, you know, it's going to be sometimes I have to take some losses. Uh, yeah, here at Gaskets, we do not accept that. I am very, very sorry. What? So you're gonna fire me? Uh, well, it has to be done to for the benefit of our team, or of the sponsor, I guess. But I don't even have a team. I don't have a pity. I don't have a crew chief. I'm on my own. Come on, you can't expect me to win every single race. I mean, I I have to. I'm trying to save. Uh, sorry. What? You just trying to say you're trying to save money? Uh, I knew it. That Sage Vander Walt Spin guy. I don't even remember what his name was. I think his name is Vage or something. It's Sage. Sage. Yeah, Sage. He was right. You are a cheapskate. Wait, 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 wait. All right, all right, all right. Hold up. I've been doing some thinking, and I've actually thought of something good. How about compromise? You get fired, and I bring him this. <laughs> nice, right? But he's a next-gen. I'm supposed to be racing against these guys. Not anymore. You can get fired, and I actually finally changed the design. Where's the red? No more red, just yellow and blue. For now, I guess. I mean, it looks pretty nice, right? I mean, it does look cool. Hey, um, sorry uh, about your loss, but uh, yeah, this is this is my track now. Your track? I mean, this is your sponsor. Whatever. Uh, anyway, so did you tell him already, or should I just tell him right now? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I need I need to talk with him first. No, I'll tell him. Hey, look. He changed his design, now go. But, what? The, the, nope, that's enough, that's enough, kid. Just, just go. No, what? No! <laughs> I guess having a cool design actually pays off. Hey guys, what is up? This is Arky here, and today I am going to be reviewing yet another new 2018 diecast release. This time it is the Next Gen Gaskets Racer, number 80, Dan Carcia. Now you probably already guessed this, but Dan Carcia is the new exclusive in this Amazon.com 10 pack, which also includes Chip Gearings, Phil Tankson, Ernie Gearson, Danny Suarez, Jackson Storm, Conrad Canver, Ryan Insilani, Rusty, Lightning McQueen, and obviously Dan Carcia, but a new unexpected release, 
was actually Bruce Miller. Now, if you guys don't remember Bruce Miller, he was the previous 10-pack exclusive, along with Harvey Rodkab, who was also another exclusive for 2017. But Bruce Miller did get a re-release in this pack. So this pack is definitely worth your while if you do not have Bruce Miller already, because you get technically two exclusives, Bruce Miller and Dan Carcia, which is why I picked this up right away. Dan Carcia races for Gaskets, who's also employed two other racers for Gaskets. One is Sage Vanderspin, who raced until the 2006 Motor Speedway of the South Race, and Rex Revler, who raced until 2016, before the Next Generation takeover occurred. So now let's get into the packaging of the brand new 2018 Amazon.com 10-pack, and wow, it looks marvelous. Like, just take a look at that desert background. It looks amazing, and honestly, I couldn't have asked for a better dog compact design. As you can see right here, it says 10 diecast vehicles, and then says that in different languages since 2018 likes to do that for some reason. Here is the car's 2018 logo. On the back is nothing much, just some useless information, also some stains, which is kind of gross. On the side right here, there's just the car's logo. And also on this side, just more information, more useless junk, because we just really want to get into the die cast right here. And yeah, I guess that's pretty much it for the for the box art, I guess. I mean, the desert background though looks really, and I mean really, really nice. So now to see the content of the pack a little better, let's take a look at it from a different angle. As you can see, you can just open it like this. There's some tape there, which I already cut through. And as you can see, I'm going to hold my camera up for a bit. As you can see here, are all the contents of the case, which I've already mentioned previously, but there is some nice art for them as well. And obviously, if I take this off, it's just you know, a little piece of paper right here. Oh, whoops, my bad. <laughs> but anyways, as you can see right here, there are all the cars, so I'll get back to you once I open them up. All these cars look magnificent out of the package. I obviously have to say that not all of these cars will be reviewed in this review. Obviously, this review has to be dedicated towards Dan Carcia since he is the pack exclusive. However, I will try and get to them in the future, but just not now. So with that being said, let's have a head-on review on the pack exclusive Dan Carcia. Wow, he just looks amazing. I really, really, really love his design. The blue, purple-ish, I guess, not really purple, like kind of like a dark blue and purplish, and yellow colors match perfectly together, and they kind of contrast each other as well. Like, they look really, really nice together, and I really, really like that. So anyways, as you can see right here, Dan Carcia does have gray eyes, oddly. A light blue hood with the G on its hood, representing gaskets, and then all around them is just kind of like a dark bluish, dark bluish or purplish color, I'll just call it dark blue for now. On the front here, his front bumper is yellow, he has the next gen headlights along with the next gen vents on the bottoms. Alright, here you can see he has the blue light year rims along with light year next gen tires. His contingency sponsors are the Piston Cup, Combustor, Carbon Cyber, and Synergy, along with a nice 80 on the side, and a nice yellow stripe right here that comes up from the bottom of his side, and then here is some light blue on the side, as well as the dark blue. Gaskets right here, Gaskets logo. Nice yellow decal on the top, which is trying to connect to the little stripes on the side, as you can see on both sides here. Obviously, Dan Carcia is part of the 2018 diecast releases of the Next Gens, which means he has window bars, a yellow shirt that curves around his roof, and then the number 80 as well. And then, obviously, his spoiler looks pretty nice with the contrasting yellow and blue. Right here, as you can see, this says gaskets. And then, you know, it has yellow tips on the side. Really, really nice. Kind of like a curvy spoiler, actually. Fortunately, Amazon is not the best when it comes to quality. Which is why that rookie stripe, that poor rookie stripe had to be a little damaged, but it's fine. Then here is this blue bumper right here along with the Gaskets logo. And then number 80 right here on the side. And then Gaskets logo again. I have to say that Gaskets did a really good job at coloring their next gen. Because the dark blue, light baby blue, and yellow contrast each other perfectly. It looks really, really nice together. So then now let's go on to the 
comparison. Right here with Rex Reveler. Definitely a big change that completely got rid of the red and just stuck with the yellow and blue design. Which is why you can see there's no red around here, which honestly, if they added the red, it would ruin the design. So I can see how they changed up the design a bit with removing the red. You can see right here, definitely a major, major difference. I guess you can say that Rex Reveler has a more cartoonish design than Dan Carcia. While Dan Carcia has a more serious, slick looking design. Really, really nice. And it just... Overall, amazing for him. But anyways, I guess that's all for Dan Garcia. He is an awesome die cast to have. And I really recommend picking up this 10-pack, especially if you don't have Bruce Miller. Because technically, then you're getting two exclusives for the price of one pack. Dan Garcia is honestly a really, really cool die cast to have. And although Amazon's defects kind of lower his quality down, he's still rocking a really cool design, which I have to give props to Gaskets for. But anyways guys, hope you enjoyed and let me know if you're getting the Dan Garcia packs very very soon on Amazon because trust me, it will go rare in the future. So buy them up right now and get your Dan Garcia along with your Bruce Miller and the other 8 cars today. This is Little Harky saying peace.